no, okay. Where I was going with all that was that out of all the choices in the world, like, you know what would be a much more effective heckle for me? Would be if you yelled out some Dave Alvin song. That would be a heckle. Iron Man. Iron? Again, <laughs> dude, you fucking underestimate me. <laughs> Before you even said it. Sophisticated. This might be the less esoteric for some of the younger ones. Right? I was in for a little while, actually. Yeah. Alright, this is the part I love. It. Now imagine I've got a band behind me all wearing bell bottoms and big mutton chops. Okay, there's that, and then there's also for, you know, the children of the 70s, uh... Oh, wait. I, I used to know it. We'll do, uh... So, this could go on all night, is my point being... I got Next, I got real okay, what, what, what? Oh Lord. A month ago, we talked about something wonderful. <gasps> All right, absolutely. We'll do that one. Wow, a coat just magically appeared. Courtesy of Corey. Thank you, Corey, so much. David Allen Co. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah. I've partied with David Allen Co. I know you have. And I have to tell you. What we mean when we say party is a different thing than what David means when he says party. You better just sit down and strap in for that one because it goes on for a few weeks. Tell us how it goes. Well, let's just say I ended up with little things beaded into my hair. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. That didn't happen. Um... So this gentleman, we talked about this, and um, I'll tell you the story behind this song. Um, I was in Berlin, in East Berlin, and I was really depressed. I was, I was in a trough. I was really fighting depression really bad. And, and, um, and I gotta tell you, if you're going to pick a city to be depressed in, Go with East Berlin. It's like, you know, when there's a snowstorm and you lose the horizon, like a whiteout. East Berlin is like a gray out. It's like everything is just some slightly varied shade of gray. And uh, I was walking really early in the morning because I couldn't sleep. And I was walking, walking, and walking. And I haven't looking down at my shoes because that's where you look, you know, when you're like that. When you get in that state. And, um, Something catches my eye right here. And I look, and it's graffiti. But it's been written down here on the wall, like where only somebody who was looking down would see it. And I look at it, and it says, perfect English, right about this high off the ground, it says, I promise you a miracle. And you know, it's set, it set a, not so much a chain of events as much as a chain of thinking in motion where it made me define what I thought miracles were, you know? And once you start doing that, boy, you've gone down the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> 